Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Let's go one shot the boss. Here is that motherfucker. Okay, I didn't one shot him. Only half his health. You know, because that's so bad. Alright, this is my proof of concept build for the 1% movement speed charge dash. It gets over the fact that 1% movement speed is going to be charging like this. With the abuse of Quicksilver Flash. The damage is calculated, or rather the time it thinks you charge is calculated after you release. So you just let the flask wear off. Motherfuckers, get out of my way. You just let the flask wear off and it thinks you were charging for like three hours or however long it would take. I guess it would take more... 1.4, probably two minutes? I don't know, I haven't timed it. Well, let me get out of here and I will explain the build real quick and you'll see why I did stupid bullshit even though I assume most of you can assume already. It, over here in my passive tree I have three weight of send gems taking me down by 15% movement speed each. And I have, I believe, four reckless defense gems. One, two, three, four. Yep, these are going to give me increased block chance and give me increased chance to receive a critical strike. Which is negated by the Brass Dome. Taking out extra damage from critical strikes. And it's even a benefit for us to take critical strikes because we recharge flask charges. Except for our Rumi's Concoction, which upon use will bring up our block chance to... 75 for attacks, 78 for spells, I believe. Let's take a look real quick. Yep, 75 for attacks, 78 for spells when I'm using Rumi's Concoction and have my Tempest Shield activated. The Charge Dash is hooked up with Physical Lightning Support, Lightning Penetration, Ruthless Support, which I should have abused in that fight. I completely forgot about it, so I probably wouldn't have one-shot him if I had abused Ruthless because how it works with charged attacks is you can just be like one, two, and then the third one's going to be doing the damage. But there's no counter on the screen for it, so I forgot about it entirely. I'm obviously not used to this build because it's just a proof of concept build. And last but not least, we've got melee physical damage support, which will modify our damage before it gets converted to lightning by the support gem and the charge dash itself. We've got soul thirst, which is going the only thing I could find that would give me reduced flask duration because I don't want the flask to be taking 4 seconds and then I can release my attack because my attack is ready in 3 seconds. And the rest of the stuff, I mean life is cool, all elemental resistance is cool, it's corrupted for chaos resist, whatever. We got Dorianis, it's doing a decent amount of physical damage. I originally got it because it did crit chance which I'm going to be using to recharge my flask because of that pathfinder nonsense what 50% chance to recharge a flask on crits I think I'm actually going to be taking that out though because I don't need that much I get enough flask refilling from taking critical hits so I should be able to spec in a more powerful weapon it does give me increased elemental damage which is good after all that physical damage is converted to elemental because there's almost no damage on my tree. We've got defenses, life, armor, elemental resistances because I can't pony up for good gear right now. And block chance all over. I walked all over this motherfucking tree for block chance, a bit of energy shield, life, etc. No real damage to speak of except for things like... Oh, not things like that. Things like Defiance, where it's going to give me increased melee physical damage on top of the chance to block with shields. We've got 
the Aegis Aurora is our shield, and it's going to give us energy shield for each time we block. And the Brass Dome gives massive amount of armor, so we got a total of almost 1,500, which gives us about 300 energy shield every time we block, which is enough to refill our bar in three blocks. And with 62% or more block speed, that's pretty good defenses considering I've got garbage life and energy shield, because I can't pony it for good gear. Uh, the anvil is going to give me increased block chance and maximum block chance. As well as reduced movement speed, which is actually a good thing in this build. Such as, my boots don't have increased move speed. Normally that's something you always want, but whatever. All of my other gear is pretty mediocre. In fact, I didn't even find the gloves I want, so I just threw on Shaper's Touch, because it's going to use my strength to give me a bit more energy shield. And I've got... Tempest Shield link with Lightning Pen and Critical Strikes, just so I can get Critical Strikes for the Pathfinder effect to refill my flask, which I might be scrapping the idea, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's proof of concept for absurd... For absurd move speed, come on, look at this bullshit. Look at this. How long will it take me to take a step? You can leave now, this video is over. I'm just gonna use up the rest of the video time by walking over to Zana. Thanks for watching. Are are you really still here? Did you leave the video running? Here, we'll just we'll just hop over to the There we go, mission complete. Bye!